Hello, hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Marbling Monday. I'm just a couple minutes late. I had to run upstairs and get um, some of the stuff, and then I had to go back out and get my water. So I've been getting ready for like the last 20 minutes, and I was still late. It's Monday. I've had a Monday. Okay, let's see if we can find this. Let's see. Come on. There, my friend Jenny is everywhere, but we go. I found it. We'll see how long the iPad lasts today. <clears throat> oh, let's see. I better sprinkle this out. Okay. There we go. Hi, Pat. How are you today? Okay. Here we go. My hair is driving me absolutely nuts. The past week or so I've curled in in the morning and I go outside and there's like fog. So there's tons of moisture in the air. Thank you, Pat. And it just goes straight. It just looks like I got out of bed and brushed it and went on my way. It's so disgusting. I try. It never wants to cooperate, but that's why I like hats. They are perfect. Hi, hi, Gloria or Dan. Welcome, welcome. So tonight I was going to do a surprise project and then try to marble the um, little tin again. But great, I'm glad you're doing well, Pat. Um, but I'm still, I have this idea in mind. Bear with me. And so I went to the art store on Saturday and was looking for some large sheets of paper. Now I have a 24 by 24 inch bin that I can marble in. I also have my um, scarf tank and that is... I want to say that's 18 by 72 something like that and then I have my gigantic tank which is way too big but um so I was looking and you know I'm still sad because I can't find the paper that I like and so I bought several different pieces and I'm gonna try to do some larger pieces than what I usually do and I have three different kinds of paper. Oh, let me show you. I bought four different kinds of paper. Here's one of them. This was one of the most expensive ones, too. Started falling all apart when I was trying to prep it. So I have a little nice little ball of wet paper. So that was kind of disappointing, but I have still have four different kinds of paper um, to try today, four, three, something like that. I have paper and um, I have them in bigger sheets. I want it to nearly um, fill the tank. So we'll see how we come out. Cause I want to take some photographs with my professional grade camera and then do some fun stuff with it. Hi, Diana, welcome. So tell me about your weather. What was your weather today? We had um, fog this morning, but it was like 57 degrees on my way home. And the sun was in my eyes. I didn't stop to put my sunglasses on, so I was squinting and putting my hand up. And, but uh, I'm not gonna complain. I could do with more snow. All of our snow is gone, except in the great big piles. But it's been really, it was really nice today. So I walked at lunchtime out to the truck and it was almost too hot in my coat. And then I was sitting there in the sun 
working on the hat that I posted and I got too hot. I had to open the door because I was sitting in the back seat so I had a little bit more surface instead of the console and steering wheel and all that. And I was sitting right in the sun so I ended up just opening the door and letting some fresh air in. So if you are new, my name is Linda Anderson. I'm a water marbling artist. I own Aqueous Silk LLC. And um, I'm an all-around crafter as well. I am now learning paint pouring. So <clears throat> my things that I poured on Saturday, I like one of them. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I may just go get oh, three new hearts um, that, are, that don't bend. Because they kind of bowed up after I poured them. Like in the center came up and the sides went down. And that really impacted the design on all of them. So... I'm not happy with them at all, but uh, I could just pour on them again. I don't know what I'm going to do, but anyway, so that didn't turn out, and um, where, where was I going with this? But anyway, I'm a general crafter. I knit, crochet, cross-stitch, quilt. Um, I do it all. I love it all, and um, so tonight we're going to water marble, and I am going to do another bandana. And then I'm going to do the papers. I haven't figured out how I'm rinsing these gigantic pieces of paper yet. But I, at the last minute, I pulled out one of my quilting mats, my cutting mats, and I taped in into a garbage bag. So hopefully that's big enough for maybe one of them or two of them. So we'll see how we do. I'm just hoping I don't get carpet. Right here where my feet are, this little area, it doesn't matter. I have a rug down on top of the carpet and a piece of plastic under it. So if I drop paint on here, which I've done many times, it doesn't bother me. But as I go out of this room and into the guest bathroom, I don't want to drop on the on the carpet there. This is the carpet does this. They didn't put it down very well, and so it rolls kind of. But I still don't want to have big globs of paint on it. So let me turn you down, and we will get started. So I hope everyone had a wonderful day. I was off on Friday. Let me come around back and elevate this a little so you can see the whole tank. I was off on Friday. And it was wonderful, but it just makes it so hard to go back on Monday. Ugh. All right, let me grab a towel. So you, I want you to see more of the tank than just that little slice. If I can get this to undo and if it comes down suddenly I apologize and I know it's wiggling boy I can't get it to move at all hold on This is what we get. I can't get it to move. So dang it. Let me adjust it a little bit more. You can see the whole tank if I could get that puppy to go up, but it will not move. So I'll have to work on it afterwards. Sorry, I don't mean to keep fiddling with this, but I'm trying to get you the best view. Okay. So I'm gonna use my dropper today.
and I did not shake up the paint before I started. Where'd my towel go? I'm going to put down a nice base of white. Just like I always do, or nearly always. Yeah, it was so fun. I had the best weekend. I got to just craft and and as you saw, I got a massage on Friday and it was fabulous. And then we went to the <clears throat> the art store on Saturday. And then I finished my ornaments. All my all six of my ornaments are now done. And I have started the tumbler. I like working on the tumblers or anything I can sit at on the sofa and work on. <coughs> when I'm doing the multicolored ornaments, I have to sit at the table because there's three different colors and there's, um, you know, four or five different sizes in each color. So I have a lot of little piles of rhinestones. And so I have to sit at the table and my back starts hurting when I do that. Okay, now let's do, I already have the color palette picked out that I want to try. I just have to get the bottle open. Boy, nothing wants to work tonight. Hold on. Oh, it looks like my iPad is frozen already. <sighs> Sorry, I know that's loud. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get the pliers out to open this up. My husband couldn't even get it open. Let's get another dropper. Now I want a lot of paint in here, so the red looks really red when it prints. For some reason the white did not want to go clear to the edge, so we're supplementing with the red. Hi Angie, how are you? Happy Monday, thank you for being here. Okay, there's the red in the tank. I might use a little bit more. Thank you, Aunt, Aunt, uh, Angie. I appreciate it. I almost called you Ashley. That's my daughter's name. Got my child on the brain tonight. Okay, and now we're going to do... Let's see. 
Oh, I got this one. Yay. Yay me. So, let me grab another dropper. So look at how much more red the red looks after it's been pushed. Okay, let's put a little bit more white in here. What they do with the lid. There it is. And we're going to do the largest piece of paper first. Right. This is one of my favorite color combos. I just wish my blue was a little bit um, more dark, more like a navy which I can mix it with some black and get it a little darker. But I thought I would use the first, the biggest piece first, because that's going to be my problem one when I go to rinse. So I thought I'd get it out of the way first. Now let's put in just a little bit more of the blue. Probably just drop some of this blue into these white spots. Now I'm going to have to come back and pop the bubbles. When I use a dropper, I always somehow manage to get a lot of bubbles. Okay, there's that. I think I can still see comments. I'm not sure. Since the uh, iPad is frozen already. So that means I cannot see the comments on my phone because my phone is pointed down. All right, let's try maybe just a little bit more red in here. Well, I tell you, this red is just after me. I've got it on my shirt. My husband had it on his hand. Hopefully there's enough paint in here that it stays red. Okay, this is where we're going to stop, I think. Let me find the lid. Or I dump it all out onto the floor. So let me pop the bubbles here. And the question is, shall we, um, you know, I think I want to freestyle this one. I was going to say, shall we comb it or freestyle, but I think I want to freestyle. All right, now that I have paint everywhere, let's begin. I think it's time to make some uh, new water. My paints are uh, what I call fracturing, and I'm 
I believe I've been doing a little bit more reading on that. And this paint is um, not mixed. This is comes ready to marble. So it's not old. And I think it's because I've marbled enough items in this that it, it kind of pixelates the uh, paint. I'm moving, the, there's some blank spots in here, and I'm moving that paint into those blank spots, so there are, is going to be some color uh, through the line. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Except for this bubble. After you pop a bubble, once you've been working in the tank, you have to... Um, swirl it again so you can't see where the bubble was like right here all right so let me go get that big sheet of paper and let's see how we do Now this paper has a smooth side. And a textured side. Oop, I just didn't quite cut it short enough over there. And I'm just making sure it all touches. Now, when I buy paper, I want paper that is not primed, has nothing on it. And I did see at an art store online that they had one that is primed. And I did not look at this one when I bought it to see if it's primed or not. So we're, we'll see what kind of, uh, pardon me, what kind of a print we get. Now this one is not going to sit up here nicely like my other one did because it's not solid. Let's see, how am I going to do this? I really need it to go this direction. Let me get my assistant. Hold on. I have to get it up out of there. I don't know where this little bit of red came from. Will you hold this like this while I pull that paper back out on it? No, I, you can't do it there. Not on this edge. It has to be on the side and on this. Here. Put one up here and one back here. There we go. Okay, here we go. See what we get. Whoops. Thank you. Okay, I've got this edge folded over. Oh, I'm going to lose it in the tank. You can see some of the color running. Okay, it looks like we've got it okay. So can you see that? So let me see how I can go. I'm going to rinse this in the bathroom on the rack itself. I'll just put it on there and rinse it. So I just have to try to get some of the drips off first. What I like about using these big sheets is there's going to be hardly any paint left over in the tank. Let me see if I can grab a towel. I don't know if I can send it all this direction. 
Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I got it on the rack. So let me grab the little measuring cup and I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to just show you what it looks like afterwards. Now the others are not that big, so we won't have that big of an issue. Okay, that turned out terrible. It's just all rinsing right off. So I am going to just take a guess that it is uh, primed. And that's not what I need. Did not take the um, paint well at all. You could see a little bit of it running when I was um, in here. And as I drizzled the water over it, it was just taking the paint right off the paper. So I'm a little disappointed. That paper is the least expensive paper. I think that sheet was like $4. And it was, I have more of it left. I had to cut it to fit the tank. <coughs> Disappointing. <coughs> I used to use that paper all the time, and but not from this art store. I bought it from another marbler, and I don't know where what her source was. So let me get the rest of this out. I think um, we'll try a different color pattern too. Oh, I'm so disappointed. All right, there we go. So now all my towel went in the other room. Just getting these little bubbles out of here. <coughs> all right, so I'm going to move this paint out of the way. Get a fresh paper towel, and let me see what we want to use for paint. Oh, decisions, decisions. I wish I could see comments. Okay, we are going to try these. And I'm 
Okay. I'm going to do a teal and a light blue, a little bit of black, and I'm going to start with white. Oops, that's not white, that's black. I do know my colors, even though sometimes it doesn't sound like it. Boy, yesterday, after I finished the uh, last ornament that I was working on, my back was hurting so bad. And I finally got to move back to my spot on the couch and start working on the, the tumbler that I'm bleeding. And ooh, let me, uh, I don't know if you can see that on the, there's some red being pushed right up here to the edge. And that means it's still on the surface. So I'm just gonna come in and pull that out. And see when I drop the water back in there off that napkin, it um, makes a blank spot. So now let me finish my white. Okay, that's good. As soon as the white fully disperses and pushes out, then I'll add some black. I don't want a lot of black. And I have a bubble. Oh, when I popped that bubble, it made a little heart. All right, there we go. So now I'll drop some black. That's probably enough. I just want a little bit of accent. And then I'll do the teal. Now teals are known, known to be very, very pushy. And then we'll do some of the light blue. Maybe just a tiny bit more black here. Now see, it, they expand and then they're, the other colors start pushing back. But this black is not the same as that, so I'm gonna drop just a little bit of white in each one. Now, it did not expand hardly at all. That means I've got quite a bit of paint in here. So let's go ahead and do some freeform work. No right, no wrong. I wish I could see your comments. If I'm missing your comments, I apologize. My iPad totally gave up the ghost and would not show the live and then it turned off. Okay, we're just gonna swirl this a little bit more. Yeah. 
I kind of like the way this looks. Now, I don't know. I can't decide if I want to do the bandana or another piece of paper. Let's see if I can get this to come back on. Now, there we are. Now, we're back up to speed here. Should I do the paper or should I do the bandana? Any thoughts? Let's see how long the, the iPad stays alive this time. Let's try the bandana. I have to have help with the bandana and he's on the phone. So this is another piece of paper, new paper to try. I'm trying to decide, I think I want this side down. This one I can get out by myself. Very nice. Very nice print. Now let me rinse this real quick. And then I'll show you what it looks like. just cut it in half when I was trimming it up forgetting that I wanted a great big piece so here it is rinsed you're gonna see some of the color from the colors that are on the board already very nice very very nice I'm very pleased with this the black took nicely the deep uh, turquoise took nicely so let me go hang it up. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Okay, so let me see. You know, I'm tempted to see how that paper does if it's not prepped. This is a very challenging art form. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I usually find one color that doesn't want to work. I've been pretty lucky 
since we've had the snow, it hasn't been too bad. Even though the snow's gone now. So I'm gonna do it one more time. So the next paper I'm gonna try, cause I can't do my bandana until my husband gets off the phone. Um, I bought it on a roll. The lady today, or Saturday, at the art store was so very helpful. She was, you know, cause this is where I bought the paper that I truly love that I can't get anymore. And so she was helping me walk through there and suggesting papers and, and you know, she'd say, suggest something. I said, yeah, but I've tried that and it didn't work. And, and then she'd come up with something else. So I appreciate her so very much. So let's do, what colors do we want to do this time? Let's use this, this, this. And this. Okay, let me get a paper towel. For me, it is impossible to marble without a paper towel in my hand. So these are the paints I'm using now are my favorite. They're golden paints and they just always perform very nicely for me. Every now and then I'll get one that doesn't want to behave very well. But for the most part, they all behave nicely. So I'll wait for all the little centers to disperse. Give it a chance to... If you were to marble when they still have, or to print when they still have the centers, that center is going to run off because it hasn't evenly dispersed on the surface, and so it's like a puddle of paint. So last week, I refrained from using pink. This week, I can't do that. Okay, so this one, can't remember what brand this one is, but it does not like to play nice with the, the golden. So let me get a different one. Let's try this one. Yeah, look at the difference. Quite a difference between that one that didn't want to expand and this one that just says, okay, sure, we'll go. And this one is one of my favorites, the hot pink. Fluorescent pink, I guess, if I'm technic being technical. Let's see. Do I want a little more pink or do I want to leave it? Thank you, Diana. I don't know which one you said was pretty. I just looked up and saw I had a comment up there. I have a bit of dried paint right here. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of that fluorescent in here.
Now those little drops that I put in that it didn't want to um, expand, those are going to be, you know, spots that may just run. But we shall see. I left them in. I didn't take them out. Just trying to make some lines through all of the drops of paint. And then I'm going to come back and swirl it. Just trying to get some lines through it all. What I like about the the piece of paper I'm going to do next is that it's long and slender which means that I can really pick where I want it. Now I've noticed the black in some of these um, spots. The, back up in this corner the black it looks really really nice. Towards the center it has kind of the shattered look and it wants to be fuzzy on the end. So I may put that down across here. All right, let me go get that. We have a big white spot right here. Oh, I just love that hot pink. I know everyone is shocked when I say that. Hey, Ramona, thank you. Okay, let me go get that piece of paper. Now this paper is the one that was on the roll. Can you see the texture in it? Let's see how it looks on screen. Oh, it looks like I'm frozen again on the screen. But there's lots of texture. This comes in a really long roll, but this is as wide as it gets. So let's put it down and see what we get. Maybe I'll do this way. Okay, I think this one's going to get a little fragile. Oh, I just tore it. So I tore it a little bit right here when I prepped it and then now I have a tear up at this other end here. But let me get it flat and then let me rinse it. The black is wanting to run a little bit. I can tell already the fluorescent pink is running a little bit, but that just may be excess. We'll see how it looks once I get it rinsed. for me to tell there's so much paint so many paint colors on this board that I can't tell how it's looking because it's definitely showing through on this one that paint that I put in first and it didn't want to expand now that is definitely bleeding dry the edge off here. Yeah. 
so it's not too bad. I don't know what I have going on right here. This looks rather weird right there. Can you see that? Right there. It almost looks yellow or brown, but I don't know. It could be something that's on the board already. So let me go attempt to hang it up. was able to successfully get it up on the rack without um, messing it up. I didn't tear it anymore. There's definitely a couple spots on there that look a little odd, but we'll see how it looks. And when I get done here, I will definitely show you um, a video. Actually, I'll just take you in there and let you see the difference in the papers. I wish I would have prepped another piece of that roll, but I just honestly, I, when I cut a piece, I just wasn't sure if it was even going to hold up to prep. Like that one, I thought the one that I showed you the wad of in the, in the beginning, I thought that was going to handle really well because it was thicker, but it just came all apart. All right, let me get another piece. Stupid iPad. I probably can't find it again. No, I can't find it. So I apologize. I wish whatever the issue is, they fix. Because it did this for a long time, and then it stopped, and now it's back to doing it again. Okay. So let me get a paper towel. Clean all of this up on the edge. The colors, the especially the intense colors, love to just stay on the edge. They just go right up there and stay. Okay, so I want this time. Gosh darn it, all the colors I want, I'm out of. So I wanted... This green, okay, I'm going to do green, pink, and yellow. This is not a fluorescent green, and it's, oh, I don't know if I have enough yellow. Not a fluorescent yellow, but it is a fluorescent pink, obviously, and white. And this is... Hopefully by the time I get this down on the water, he will be off the phone. Because I just don't think I can manage. The, the paper has a little bit more body to it than the cloth does. When I try to marble a piece of cloth this size, I really do need a second set of hands. 
Okay, I want this out here. I think there's some resistance. I, I don't know what, how to clean my tank. It, I don't know if I paint it again fresh, it would stop this pushing away from the edges. I'll have to do some reading on that. Because I know that I've noticed sometimes it does that and sometimes it doesn't do that. So I don't know, I'm not 100% sure what's causing it, but I'm letting these white spots dissipate. You want your um, paint to fully disperse. Now just throwing the paint down like this, I'm trying to be careful. This is called uh, throwing stones. You can do it on the end of a brush or just like that. It is so satisfying. Now let's throw out a little green. Because you get random sized uh, spots of color. But I'm trying not to get it all over the room. Usually I only do this in the garage. But I had to shake that yellow to get it out of there because there wasn't hardly any in there. Last time I did this, I had paint all up on my iPad and everywhere. And I do have some bubbles. Let's get those taken care of. Okay, and now let's do the fun one. Now I think I want to print this just as a stone pattern. But see how cool that looks? Because the the, the um, drops of color are just very, very random. And I love it. Wonder. Let's put. Oops. Now the pink is allowing itself to be pushed. Let's put a little bit more of the green in. Now the other one that looks like green is actually the yellow. Okay, I want to do a little bit more of the pink too. You know, pink has to be the key color. It has to be. I think so this should be very pretty. The green goes in. It's a lot brighter. Here's what the green looks like. It's a lot brighter than it looks on the water. And yellow is just for an accent. I'm not a big yellow person. There's going to be more yellow in here that I like, but I think it's going to be nice and vibrant. So let me see if I can... Uh, get him to come and help me. One moment.
Okay, he'll be in here in just a second. I had to make him hang up the phone, unfortunately. And I'm crawling around back behind here. I'm sorry. I was trying to be patient. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be pretty. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Oh, that's going to be so cool. It was worth the wait. And I always go around and make sure the hem and the tag is marbled all right there we go let's take this out and see how we did with this one and this was going to go right into the rinse bucket Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And did I move the rinse bucket over here? No. Because that makes far too much sense. I'll put it up on the board after I rinse it a little bit here. So you can see it. it. It looks amazing. Okay. I just uh, just gently squeeze it. I don't, you know, squeeze it tight. But that'll give you a, a taste of what it looks like. Make sure I'm not dripping into my water. That is super pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It looks like spring. Let me get a towel. Okay. Hold on. You're gonna go for a ride. Hello. Thank you, Ramona. Thank you, Diana. It is so pretty. Hold on. I'm gonna go show you the, the difference in the papers. So, I'll keep you looking at this mug until we get in here. So, this again, this is bathroom lighting. Let me turn you around. Whoops, that's not it. Let me turn you around. So look at that. That's the first one right there. Look how awful that is. And then this is the second one. It did beautiful job of marbling. Absolutely beautiful. And then this is the last one. And here there is one of the funky little spots. There's another one here. This is backwards, so I'm, there it is. Right there. See it right there? And then right there. I don't know what those are all about. And this, we'll see how this one dries. But look at that, what a waste of paint. And paper. The only thing, again, the only thing I can think about or think of is that that was already sized and I can't have that. Yes, that second one is gorgeous. 
I can't wait to see how they all dry and I'll get them pressed out and see see what the result is and I have like a huge bunch of this whoops which way huge bunch of this of course I only bought one sheet of that. I do have another half sheet though. So we may try this colorway next week in that other paper. But, whoops. There, you just got it. You got an eye full of my Christmas towels that are still up in that guest bathroom. But let me, let me show you this. Hold on. Look at this up close wet but oh my gosh so beautiful i wish i could turn on the uh, flash for you it is so bright and so cheery i love it it's perfect okay that's all i have for you today guys paper test paper test and um another bandana which i'm so happy i did but i appreciate each and every one of you for being here tonight and those of you who are here every Monday, I appreciate you as well. I can't do it without you. Um, I just, I can't say enough about having you here. It means a lot to me. So we'll see you next Monday, if unless I can come live sometime this week, which uh, it's doubtful, but I'll try if I can. And remember, if you see someone that has a smile, give them one of yours. It doesn't cost you anything and it might just make their day. So take care, everyone. Hey, Joni. Hey, Candy. So sorry I couldn't see everybody today. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye.